वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टूडे आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन नॉरटन्स थियरम इन विच आई कंसिडर टू केसेस वन एग्जाम्पल इज देयर विद डिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज एंड वन एग्जाम्पल इज देयर विथ इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज एंड एट लास्ट आई गिव यू वन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दैट यू शुड राइट योर आंसर इन कमेंट बॉक्स एंड इफ एनी इश्यू इज देर डेफिनेटली आई गेट बैक टू यू सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो हियर वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ वन सर्किट एंड फॉर दैट वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड नॉरटन सिक्वेलेंट सर्किट नाउ इफ यू सी दिस सर्किट देन यू सी वी हैव वन करंट सोर्स ऑफ टू आई एक्स एंड हियर आई एक्स इज गिवन राइट सो वी आर डील विथ टू आइडेंटिफाई नॉरटन सिक्वेलेंट now in norton's equivalent we have current source in parallel with equivalent resistance right so first what i'll be doing is i'll be calculating equivalent resistance now for dependent source whenever you want to calculate equivalent resistance right for thevenin's as well as norton's only one thing that you will have to do is you will have to provide voltage source at load and whatever current is induced by that voltage source v by i that will be equivalent resistance this is the basic practice that you should follow every time and one more thing that you that you should take care of is whatever independent sources are there right for that voltage sources should be replaced by short circuit and current sources should be replaced by open circuit that is what you should follow every time right so i'll explain you how to do that step by step with this circuit so here first what i'll be doing is i'll be connecting voltage source with value plus minus v over here at load right now if i say here current is i which is induced by this voltage source then i can say that rn is equals to v by i now you see we have 5 ohm resistor over here and you see this is independent voltage source so independent voltage source that should be short circuited and independent current source that should be open circuited so if you short this over here right then you can say that as this is short i can say ix is equals to 0 right and as ix is equals to 0 because of this is short circuit this current source is having zero value so i don't need to connect this current source so now our v by i that is very simple as per this ohms law i can say v by i is 5 ohm only right so by single step we can have this answer so this is very easy right sometimes you may be finding this is very tricky and difficult but if you have basic idea you can easily solve this type of questions right now second question that is to identify equivalent norton's current right so norton's equivalent circuit is what rn in parallel with equivalent current source so now what is equivalent current source so see equivalent current source is a current passing through short circuited load right so here what i need to do is i need to provide load as short circuit and then i need to identify current passing through that let me draw that and then i'll explain you how to do that so now you see what i have done is i have shorted ab terminal and now i'll redraw this circuit which is connected in between a and b so now our agenda is to identify in right so let us apply loops over here so in this loop current is in now you see in this loop we have current which is i1 let us say it is i1 and in this loop let us say we have current i2 right so see before we solve in let us try to understand what is happening in in with i1 right so for that what i'll do is i'll apply kvl in loop i1 if you see in this loop then we have only one voltage source and that is happening from plus to minus so as it is happening from plus to minus i need to write minus 10 over here 
and that is equals to now you see across this 4 ohm resistor current is Ix which is happening in this direction and I1 is there in opposite direction right. So I can say that this is 4 I1 and I1 is minus Ix that one can say. So I can say that here this is minus 4 Ix right. So now based on this loop I can have Ix value so minus minus plus 10 by 4 that is 2.5 ampere. So now we got the value of Ix right. Now simply what we can do is we can be able to calculate what is the value of I2 right. Now what is I2? So you see I2 is happening in this loop and current source is there in same direction of I2 and that is of 2 Ix. So I can say I2 is equals to 2 Ix and Ix is 2.5 so I2 is 5 ampere right. So now we have Ix value I2 value and now in this loop we have only current In. So directly we can identify In by applying KVL in In. So let us apply KVL in In. So if you apply KVL in In then we have this one, one 10 voltage source. So that is happening from minus to plus. So that is plus 10 over here and now you see through this 5 ohm resistor current is In minus I2 because of loop In. So I can say In minus I2 right. Now 10 is equals to 5 into In minus I2 is 5 ampere so I am placing that 5 over here. So I can say that 10 by 5 that is 2 over here that is equals to In minus 5. So I can say In is equals to 2 plus 5 that is 7 ampere right. So now we got the value of In. We have already calculated the value of Rn right. So I can say Thevenin's sorry Norton's equivalent circuit that is parallel combination of current source and resistance Rn right. So Rn that is of 5 ohm which we have calculated you see and current source in upward direction it is of 7 ampere. So this is Norton's equivalent circuit. So I hope you have understood how to apply rules for dependent and independent sources. Let us have one more interesting question. So now here you can see we have been given with one circuit and for that we are dealing with to find Norton's equivalent and in this circuit we have independent sources one is of 2 ampere and one is of 12 voltage. So now our calculation will be very easy compared to dependent sources right. So first what we will be doing is we will be finding Rn. For Rn calculation with independent source voltage sources should be short circuited and current sources should be open circuited. So now what I will do is when I will calculate Rn from here, I will be shorting this voltage source and I will keep this current source as open circuit and then I will redraw this circuit and then we will find Rn. So let me redraw that. So now you see what I have done is I have short circuited this 12 voltage source and I have kept this current source open right. So now this is very simple circuit in that you see these three resistors that is there in series right. So in series its value will be 8 plus 4 plus 8 and that is equals to 20 ohm. So when you solve value of Rn then this 20 in parallel with 5 that will be 20 into 5 divided by 20 plus 5. So that is 100 by 25 means it will be 4 ohm. So now we have the value of Rn that is 4 ohm right. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate In and when you want to calculate In all you need to do is you will have to short load and In is short circuited current at load. So now what I will do is I will short circuit AB. So if I provide short circuit AB then this 5 ohm that will also get short circuited right. 
and then you will be having equivalent circuit in which we will be finding IN. So let me redraw this circuit with short circuited of 5 ohm resistor over here. So now you see what I have done is I have just short circuited load and IN is in this direction, right? So with this circuit, I have shorted this. So this 5 ohm is getting shorted and same circuit that I have drawn it over here. So now we just need to find IN. So IN calculation that we can have easily by considering these two loops. So in this loop current is IN and in this loop let us say current is I1. So you see in this loop we have current source of 2 ampere which is there in same direction of I1, right? So I can say that I1 is equals to 2 ampere. So now we just need to apply KVL in loop IN and we can have IN as I1 is already calculated which is 2 ampere, right? So apply KVL in loop IN. So if you apply KVL in loop IN, then you see we have only one voltage source of 12 voltage. So I can say that is happening from minus 2 plus so that will be 12 voltage and that is equals to now you see this 4 ohm resistor is having current IN minus I1, right? So 4 into IN minus I1 and I1 is 2 ampere. So I'm writing 2 plus you see this 8 ohm that is having current IN only plus this 8 ohm that is having current IN only, right? So I can say that you see 4 into 2 that will be minus 8 over here that will go on other side so that will make it to 20 and that is equals to 4 in plus 8 in plus 8 in so that will be 20 in so i can say in is equals to 1 ampere so now we got the value of in we got the value of rn right so i can say that equivalent circuit of this as per norton's theorem it will be rn which is of 4 ohm you see in parallel with current source in upward direction its value is 1 ampere so let me mention that is 1 ampere so that is how simply we can identify value of rn and in i hope you have understood this now i would like to give you one practice question and you write down your answer in comment box. So practice question is given over here, you see. And for this network, you will have to find current I by considering this much circuit as Norton's equivalent circuit, right? You can solve this by many ways, but what I want is you should solve it by using Norton's equivalent circuit. This is just a case of practicing questions, right? It is not like you can solve this by one way only. There are many ways by which you can solve questions but what I want is you should do practice of Norton's theorem so that whenever you solve problems in competitive examination at that time you will find it easier as if you have done some practice. So write down your answer in comment box and let me know whether you are getting it correct answer or not right. Thank you so much for watching this video.